Previously, I had discussed all the different measures that I had taken to use the 27 gallon sturdy toad as an outdoor hydroponic container. I would like to be able to uh, tell you that this was a success. However, at this point in time, I would not recommend this particular container for use. First, a measure that was taken was to invert the lids to have the rain drain off the edges into the channels around that were formed by inverting the lid, where the water would drain down the cargo holds that are along the sides. Second, I used zip ties to hold the lids in place with the bottom tote, and that kept the cargo holds in alignment between the tote and the lid. The reason for that was so that the rain would drain down completely to the ground. Otherwise, as the tote was full of water, the edges would bow out slightly and rain would go down through the lid holes directly into the tote, overfilling it. Third, I painted the lids black to prevent algae, which has been a success. And fourth, I cut a section of PVC rod and inserted that between the lid and the base of the tote on the inside near the net pot. That creates a bulge in the lid, which keeps the lid from sagging and creating a funnel where the water would drain down into the net pot area. So with all that in mind, I thought I had finally reached success. However, I found out differently. What you see in front of you is the final reason that I found that these do not make good outdoor hydroponic containers. You'll notice that the side wall of the tote is bowing outwards under the pressure of the water that is inside along with the hot sunlight. Over time, being outdoors, it has bowed outward even more and more. The two zip ties are not even enough to hold the lid in position with the tote when inverted. So what has happened is I've created uh, a worse condition where the water runs around the edge of the lid and instead of going directly to the ground below, it's going directly into the tote. This close-up illustrates my point. That dark area right above the zip ties is actually the interior of the tote where the water has been running down into it. So what damage will a little bit of rain do? It's actually quite devastating. You notice that as the roots in this non-circulating hydroponic setup became saturated with water, gas exchange stopped at the root level in the upper area and essentially the roots drowned. When that happened, the leaves in the upper part of the plant started to collapse and look almost as if they're withering from lack of water. Looking more closely at the leaves, you could see the effect that I'm talking about. But what it is is actually not a lack of water, but too much water. If caught in time, the roots will recover and what that entails is actually picking up the edge of the toad and pouring off the excess nutrient and rainwater until it gets down to the proper level where the roots were formerly sitting above the water. However, if it goes too far, the plant will not recover and will eventually die. In the next few days, you'll find out whether or not Pouring off the uh, excess water in that tote was enough to save the plant.